Who would win a fight between two of the top prehistoric marine predators? Megalodon or Mosasaurus? Both were apex predators of the sea while they lived, but these two monsters would never have met, being separated by about 50 million years. The extinction of aquatic reptiles, the large mosasaurs in particular, at the end of the Cretaceous, allowed for massive sharks like Megalodon to evolve to fill the void left behind. The Megalodon, which went extinct millions of years ago, was the largest shark ever to prowl the oceans and one of the largest fish on record. The scientific name, Carcaracles Megalodon, means giant tooth, and for good reason. Its massive teeth are almost three times larger than the teeth of a modern great white shark. The name Mosasaurus is partly derived from the Latin word, Mossa, the Meuse River. And the second half of the name comes from the word Saurus, which is Greek for lizard. Its distinguishing characteristics included a blunt, alligator-like head, fin on the end of its tail, and a hydrodynamic build. Size and Description Megalodon was the largest fish ever known, a designation based on discoveries of hundreds of fossil teeth and a handful of vertebrae. Tooth-shaped similarities between Megalodon and modern great white sharks suggest that the two species may have been close relatives, as a bulky torpedo-shaped fish with a conical snout, large pectoral and dorsal fins, and a strong crescent-shaped tail. This data suggests that mature adult Megalodons had a mean length of 33.5 feet 10.2 meters, the largest specimens measuring 58.7 feet, 17.9 meters long. Some scientists, however, contend that the largest forms may have measured up to 85 feet, 25 meters long. Studies estimate that adult body mass ranged from roughly 66,000 pounds, 30 metric tons, to more than 143,000 pounds, 65 tons, adult females being larger in both length and mass than adult males. The largest extant megalodon tooth measures 6.9 inches, 17.8 centimeters in length, almost three times longer than those of modern white sharks. This aquatic animal was indeed a fierce-looking creature. It was approximately 50 feet long, or longer than a semi-truck trailer, and it weighed about 15 tons, or almost twice the weight of an elephant. To top it off, it had long jaws which were filled with lots of razor-sharp teeth, teeth that were able to eviscerate anything this animal wanted to eat. One of the most interesting facts about Mosasaurus is that it had a streamlined body and flippers. That enabled it to sail effortlessly through the water at what must have been pretty high speeds. Paleontologists don't currently know how fast these animals could have swam, but they think it was pretty fast. Range and Habitat When they were prevalent, Megalodons lived in oceans worldwide. They had a cosmopolitan distribution, which means that they lived across the globe in inhabitable areas. The only restrictions were the frigid waters of the Arctic and Antarctic. Scientists do not know if they participated in migrations or other large movements, but believe their ranges changed as they grew larger. We don't know exactly what habitats megalodons preferred, but we do know where scientists have found their teeth. Like many other shark species, the most frequent occurrence is in temperate and tropical waters. 
In addition to the temperate and tropical seas, scientists can estimate the depths these sharks inhabited. Because adults were so large, they simply could not have lived in shallow coastal environments. Instead, they lived offshore in the open ocean. Mosasaurus lived in the Cretaceous period and inhabited Europe and North America. Its fossils have been found in places such as Santa Loire Valley, France, South Dakota, and Nebraska. The Mosasaurus dwelling in what would become the North Atlantic Ocean. Mosasaurus lived near the surface of the water since it breathed air much as whales do. Diet The Megalodon was a fearsome predator. As the largest predator of the time, it ate a diverse array of prey, including toothed and baleen whales, seals, sea cows, and sea turtles. As an opportunist, it also likely ate fish and other sharks. Many whale fossils have distinct gashes from megalodon teeth, and sometimes an entire megalodon tooth is found embedded in a whale bone. Scientists calculate that a bite from a megalodon jaw could generate force of up to 40,000 pounds, which would make it the strongest bite in the entire animal kingdom. It is through these tooth marks that scientists are able to determine a megalodon's feeding behavior. It is believed that larger prey, like small whales, were struck in the chest, the robust megalodon teeth able to puncture through their tough ribs. Conversely, they likely rammed smaller prey with their snouts to stun them before biting it. So what exactly did Mosasaurus eat? Well, it ate just about anything it wanted. However, paleontologists believe that its diet consisted of fish, shellfish, and squids. It wouldn't have eaten sharks, though, like it was shown in Jurassic World. It was big, but it wasn't nearly that big. Reproduction While it is impossible to speculate the exact reproductive strategies of these sharks, we do have some estimation of their life cycle. It is believed that female megalodons gave birth in nursery sites where the pups would be safer from predators. Of course, few predators exist for a creature that is 11 feet long when it is born. Like all sharks, megalodons would have been self-sufficient and capable of hunting soon after birth. Because of their body structure, researchers had suspected that mosasaurs did not haul themselves out onto a beach to lay eggs, similar to how sea turtles reproduce. Fossilized remains of other prehistoric swimmers, the ichthyosaurs, have been found in the process of giving birth. Some modern relatives of mosasaurs, including monitor lizards and some species of snakes, also skip the eggs. Now let's see, who would win a fight between a megalodon and a mosasaurus? Assuming a hypothetical clash between an adult of these two animals, I'd bet on Megalodon. The Mosasaurus had a long, thin body, with jaws designed more for feeding on smaller prey, such as ammamites and fish. While a similar length, the Megalodon had a much more robust body and huge jaws built for devouring whales and other large marine mammals. A Mosasaurus would not have been able to get its jaws around the much thicker body of the Megalodon. It would just take one catastrophic bite for the Megalodon to end the battle. In addition, the Mosasaur's body type would have been inefficient for high-speed swimming, giving the Megalodon another huge advantage in maneuverability. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.